I used a tap to put threads on the holes in the bottoms of the pieces of uh, uh, brass that uh, mounted to these plates. Um, if you've never used a tap and die set before, it's really quite a handy thing to have, especially if you're doing any sort of project like this. A set like this can be picked up for less than $20. Um, fairly easy uh, uh, operation. You'll want a little uh, cutting fluid. This is uh, just a, a lubricant uh, tap oil. You'll put that on the, the holes that you've pre-drilled and the tap you buy will very often come with the proper size drill uh, for drilling the holes. So you put a little uh, lubricant on there, place the tap in, the tap goes into, uh, this is called a, uh, you know, I don't remember what this is called, but it's a tap handle. Um, you give it a couple of turns to get it started, and once you feel it bite, you do a turn and then back a third to a half a turn. Turn and then back, turn and then back. And you continue that motion all the way down to the bottom of the hole. And you'll feel when it gets to the bottom of the hole, you'll feel it hit bottom. Now, the reason you're doing that back turn is you're breaking off the little curl of brass that your cutter is peeling up from the sides of your hole. So you cut it and you get this little curl of brass which will jam the tap unless you turn it back to use the back side of these little teeth to cut off that little curl. We'll go forward and back, forward and back, always going further forward than back until we reach the bottom of the hole. Once we reach the bottom of the hole, we can gently turn the tap all the way out. And now we have a nice threaded hole that we can uh, use to affix this to the base. And uh, very useful tool to have, very inexpensive tool to have. Um, takes a little bit of practice to use, but as you can see, really not hard to use at all.